Hello, and welcome back to Song Surveys on Sopas with Superheroes. So, last week we did one that was like old school, and so that means this week it's back to a song that was just released. So, the song we're going to talk about today is probably the hardest song I've reviewed yet, um, just because it doesn't really follow that traditional um, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, like, setup for most songs. And, um, like, while there is some repetition of lyrics, it's done in such a different way, pretty much almost every time it's repeated, and it's, like, awesome, and I love it, and um, I really can't wait to get into this one. It's complicated, but just, just so awesome. Anyway, so the song we're going to be talking about today is Fishbowl by Tiny Moving Parts, and this band is just fantastic i saw them live like on a whim pretty much i listened to their stuff like a week before their show so good um and this song just really like hones in on just how awesome they are because it's just so complex and it has so many layers and then they all like work together and they bring it back together and make it just this like amazing piece of music. So anyway, let's get into it. Um, so the song um, starts off with just um, instruments and it's pretty fun because at the beginning they kind of like have this guitar riff which normally would take you into the lyrics. So when you first hear it, you're like, oh, the lyrics are coming, but then they don't, which is great because you're like, oh, okay. And this definitely is a great marker for like the beginning of the song and just kind of preparing you for what's going to happen. It's like, hey, look, we're not going traditional in this song and like just it is what it is so be prepared for like twists and turns which is really awesome um so then finally uh they have a build up and that's when the first lyric is saying and it's great because when they sing the first lyric it the music just gets like so into the background and the lyric is saying and then all of a sudden there's just like this full band again with this like with the continuation of lyrics so I just think it was really great how they kind of, you know, make you really pay attention. It really grabs your attention. You're like, okay, music, music, ooh, no music, one line. And then all of a sudden it's just like back to this full force, um, you know, instruments. So I think it was really great. Um, so they repeat the first line. Um, I guess technically you would consider that to be the first verse. And then the next time they start singing after they repeat the first line, they use the dual singing. So they have two singers, so they use the dual singing. And also, though, not only that, they use that fantastically in the next part of the song, um, which I guess would technically be the second verse. Although, again, this isn't really have a like clear delineation of any of these things. Um, but I think it's really well done. And I, again, personally love that dual sound when you have it and you can have it. So they used it fantastically. But I also love that they didn't use it from the beginning necessarily. I mean, they used it a couple times in the beginning, but they really like, really make it a point of interest in this one part of the song. So I really like that. And then not only do they do that in this part of the song, but then they also kind of give you a varying volume of the lyrics which again, I think it makes it so interesting. You're kind of like, oh wait, should I be listening to every single lyric as a whole, no matter whether it's louder in volume and more prominent in the forefront or end backgrounds? So do I listen to all of them together and kind of figure out the song lyrics that way? Or do I listen to just the forefront with the forefront and then just the background with the background? No, don't get me wrong. The background words are repeated a couple times. So it's just the one word. But then sometimes it's not a repeated word. So it really just gives this interesting feel. Um, and again, especially when there's no clear delineation of verse versus chorus, it just adds this layer of, okay, like something is going on here. They're, they're demanding your attention. They're grabbing you in. And I just, I really love that. Um, so I think that whole section is fantastic. Um, Okay, so I've been really skipping over the lyrics, so I am going to address those. So the first thing is, after this part with this foreground versus background and this alternating singers, they um, have this one line that I really like. And this line does get repeated often, 
but it's a more like subtle uh, line at first when you first hear it. It's kind of in the background and it's definitely um, not something that's supposed to be in the foreground, at least for this section of the song. And the line I think is great. It's I'll hold you till your lungs start breaking. And I really like that line just because lungs don't break like bones would. <laughs> um, so I think it's really interesting to kind of think about like, what does that mean? Lungs breaking? What is it just that they're like, no, they're not like falling apart or like deteriorating. That's not what he said. He said breaking. So I kind of love that I get this image in my head of, okay, well, like what would it be like if a lung was breaking? And I think that's really cool. Um, okay. So then another lyric that I like, and again, have just kind of skipped over with all this music. It's, the music is so good. I really love, um, at one point he says, this panic resonates and echo never fades away. So again, you're just like stuck in this moment of panic kind of, and even though it might be like just an echo of it, it's still there. So I really liked that line. Um, and then I think one of my favorites is especially considering, um, the song title is fishbowl and they never actually say the word fishbowl so i think that's why the this lyric that i'm about to talk about really resonates with me so the line is i tried my best to make a sound i'm too choked up to spit it out i think it's awesome i love the idea of Again, especially when you consider the title of the song, Fishbowl, you're like, wait a minute, is he like drowning choking? Is he choked up because he's upset? Is he choked because someone's choking him? I mean, it definitely leaves a lot of room for interpretation. And I really love that. Um, also, especially like, let's say he does get the sound out eventually. If he is in a fishbowl, does that, is that easy to hear? Is it hard to hear? I, I just really think it was a great lyric and, um, Again, I just really love the imagery that goes with it and the ambiguity that comes with it too. So you're not really sure what's going on. All right, so <laughs> um, at the end of this, they repeat the line about the lungs. So that's like probably the line that's most repeated. But what I love is the second time they repeat the line about the lungs, it's totally, totally different. So the first time they sing it, it's subtle, it's in the background. I mean, you can hear it, but it's definitely not the focus of the song at that point. And then all of a sudden when they repeat it again, it's like this more full sound and it's just fantastic. It's really great. I really love one, that line just in general. Um, but then I love that they repeated it in such different ways. So it was really great. And, and even like the way they sing it is different. So the second time the words like get more drawn out and there's more space in between each word. And it's just, ugh, the music fits perfectly. It's like that quick short notes, which again, you guys know I love. Um, so I think they did a really fantastic job with what they chose to repeat and how they chose to repeat it. Um, especially with that one line in particular. So then um, after like a quick pause, they go back into music and I think it fits perfectly. Oh, and I also love, okay, so after they repeat the line about the lungs, their next line goes so seamlessly into the line about the lungs, right? But then what ends up happening is after a pause of like lyrics and a little bit of music, the next line works so well with the line after the lung line but it doesn't really fit with the lung line. So you're like, wait a minute, are these two who are so seamlessly like put together supposed to be together? Or are you singing something totally different, having a bit of a break, and then you go into this next line, like which totally works. It's just fantastic. It's again, it's just so unexpected and it totally takes you for this ride. And you're like, wait a minute, I did I listen to this correctly or do I have to go back and listen to it again? Like, it's just, it's so different and it makes it so excellent. I really, really love it. Um, so after that, they go into um, a line about mammoths in the Atlantic, which again, is just something that, you know, mammoth is a word you don't really hear or use very often. And even like Atlantic, especially in songs. Um, so I like that. And I'm also uh, from the East Coast. So Anything Atlantic related is pretty cool because I feel like I have a personal connection to the Atlantic Ocean. Anyway, um, okay, so they repeat this line and I love it because again, it, it changes. So they repeat the line four times and the second and fourth time they don't include the entire lyric, which I think is really great. And it's especially great because of the lyric itself. So the full lyric is, 
we'll never know until we go swimming. So that's the first repetition, right? And then the second repetition is we'll never know. And then they go back to we'll never know until we go swimming and then we'll never know. So I just love the idea of, so wait a minute, <laughs> are they never going to go swimming? So they are never going to find out? Or is it just like a choice that the artist made and it has no impact on whether they're going swimming or not? So I really love when bands do things like that. And again, the fact that they did it so well, it's just incredible. And the music behind it totally matches it and it complements it and it's just, ugh, it's so great. Um, yeah, so then they go back and they do repeat two lines. Um, again, the long line and then the line that came right after it that second time that they repeat it. So um, I think that is pretty much as close to a chorus as this song gets, but it's not really a chorus. And um, they just have such seamless transitions from lines to lines. And, and again, it just the music is able to change in this like subtle but not so subtle way at times and it's just oh it's just so fantastic and um i really love it and the, another line that i really love um towards the end is i'll split your doubts with love believe me so i really like that i again didn't really think about splitting doubts you always hear people say like oh like you know i'll like take your doubt away or get rid of them but he doesn't say that. He just says split. So what does that mean? Is he going to take some of the weight off, but not all of it? I don't know. I just thought it was a really interesting line. Um, and especially towards the end to say like with love, believe me, definitely um, makes this song a little bit interesting. They do mention love before that. So you can definitely tell this is a song for someone who is significant and has a significant message in it. But, um, but yeah, I just really like that line. Um, and I just think it's a great song, especially when you consider the music that goes with it and just the transition from one line to the next, but still you have that different feel to it. It's really great. Um, after that, they have just like the full instruments with some lyrics and at the very like last word, it just like, they sing the last word and as the singer starts singing it, the instruments just totally fade out. Um, like get dropped and it's basically just one last guitar strum that's held for the re remainder of the you know song which is only like 20 seconds or whatever but um 10 seconds so yeah so really great i totally just love the layers of this song it's so interesting and again this song really doesn't have that chorus verse chorus verse feel to it and it's just fantastic the the lines are interesting the music is interesting the way that they can take these different parts that are seemingly unconnected and then bring them back into the middle and end of the song and then connect it as a whole. I think they did a fantastic job. Um, also the fact that this, these song, well, this song and another song were just like totally unexpectedly released just makes it so good. I just love this band and I love that they just were like, oh, hey, by the way, guys, we just released this new music. So here you go. Um, I really hope more comes out this year and I really hope they go on tour again because I would definitely see them in a heartbeat. They are fantastic and uh, I'm so excited about this song. I can't wait to listen to it and just enjoy it and try and put the pieces together, but still like have the pieces kind of just be what they are. They're so great. Anyway, let me know what you think. Did you listen to the song? Have you never heard of the song? Um, do you think I'm a crazy person? Which is definitely possible. I hope you enjoy the song. Please comment, like, subscribe. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next week for another oldie but goodie. <laughs> Bye.